Hi roadies, I'm Julia Staten. Thanks for joining me today. I'm pairing up today with my road to uh, share a easy stamping technique and a card design for you. And it features um, the My Road butterfly stamp set and the eye chart sentiment set and um, a couple of my myths, blue agave and cream metallic. And it's it's called um, Emboss Resist, and it's super easy, and I'll just share it with you now. With a piece of white cardstock, and a few of the butterfly stamps that I like that worked well together. And um, we're gonna use a watermark ink pad or a clear embossing ink pad, and ink up your stamps, and stamp them on the paper. Now, what your it's going to be difficult to see on the video because it, you can only really it's very very faint. But I'm stamping it over the pat, the cardstock, and you'll see when you do it, you can see a very faint Im image of the butterfly. And then I'm just going to fill in some spaces. another of the butterflies now I usually make my um, paper just a little bigger than what I want and then I can pick the best areas when the technique is completed so once you have it stamped with the embossing ink you need some clear embossing powder and sprinkle it over your stamped cardstock and just make sure it covers the whole whole area and then you can just put your excess embossing powder away. So I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, I think you can. Um, there's your embossing powder and you pull out a heat gun and heat your stamped images in the embossing powder. And you want to heat it nice and evenly. You don't want to scorch your paper, but you do want to make sure that all the little crystals in the on on your stamped images and your embossing powder are fully melted. The embossing powder forms the um, resist and it makes an area that you won't have any um, ink from the mist. So anything that you have stamped and embossed, it will remain white. Okay, I think that looks looks like it's completely um, embossed and I'm working on a non-stick craft sheet for this next step and you can also use like a, a cardboard box and I'm gonna pull out my mists and first I'm gonna use the cream metallic and I'm just gonna stamp it over lightly over my cardstock and then I'm gonna add in some of the blue And what you'll notice is the spots that um, overlap, you're going to get some green. So you want to remove the excess with a piece of paper towel. And there you have a really pretty misted background with the um, butterflies. And you can dry that. 
um, and cut it to size. I have one here that's already dry and, and cut. And I'm just going to sponge the edges with a little ink and put my card together. So now we're ready to put our card together. I've gone ahead and sponged all the edges with ink. And we just have to adhere the layers. Found some patterned paper that matches really nicely with my ink colors once the mists have dried. Hear that on there. I've also gone ahead and stamped a little canvas butterfly that my road makes and I'm just going to adhere it onto my card. And this is a daisy's milk trim that I just cut one little daisy out of. It makes a really pretty accent. My Road makes so many gorgeous floral embellishments that I had a hard time picking, but this green looped ribbon flower matches the color perfectly, and I've inserted a few little trinket pins in there. And lastly, to finish it off, I've um, just sponged some ink on the little vintage paper roses, and I like to cut the stems right off them. I find it's the way I design with them. It makes it really easy to adhere with a glue dot on the back of my project. And just putting my glue dot on. I like things in uneven groupings, so I'm using a group of three little vintage paper roses. And putting them on there, and then the card is complete. So here's a completed project. I hope you enjoyed the technique tutorial on embossed resist using my mists. Thank you.